Hello everyone, I'm Mary Rose Corrigan, Public Health Specialist for the City of Dubuque with the January 11, 2021 update from the Dubuque County Public Health Incident Management Team. Dubuque County's COVID-19 case total is about 11,500 cases, with 590 new cases reported in the last 14 days, which is 144 more than the last 14-day period I reported on January 7th. All age groups are having new cases, and the 18 and under age group accounted for 15% of the cases in the last two weeks. Last week, I commented that Dubuque County's community spread decreased significantly between November and December. Unfortunately, our data is showing that cases are again starting to increase, as shown by our 14-day average positivity rate increasing from 9% on December 29th to just over 12% today and our 14-day case trend line is now starting to go up. Meanwhile, cases continue to surge in many parts of the country with almost 250,000 cases per day now being the average, along with over 22,500 deaths reported in the last seven days. California, Arizona, Texas, Illinois, Florida, New York, and Pennsylvania are the big contributors. We keep going through these cycles in different parts of the country. We're continuing to see these rotating increases in cases in various geographic areas and then decreases. And we don't know why. And I don't think anybody does. But I'm sure we will eventually see some research on this very interesting phenomena. We also have to watch for the new variant, B117 strain, and other new strains that have been identified and how they will affect our numbers. This is a real concern and a challenge. We will start finding more and more of these variants. This is because people who have developed some immunity from having the disease, such as those with a severe immunodeficient individual who is treated with plasma, but yet they don't have enough antibody there to basically eradicate the virus from the body but enough to challenge and change the virus over time to actually develop these mutations. As my friend Dr. Michael Osterholm said, classic microbial evolution. Dubuque County continues to receive vaccine from the Iowa Department of Public Health and is still vaccinating healthcare workers and residents and staff at our long-term care facilities. To date, we've received 5,700 doses Depending on how much vaccine and when we receive it, this 1A group of healthcare workers will take most of January. And remember, everyone needs two doses. Today, the Iowa Department of Public Health added information to the coronavirus.iowa.gov webpage to show the amount of vaccine Iowa has received and how much it has been administered in each county. Updates will be published each week on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. For right now, these reports are static maps, but eventually more data points will show vaccination progress and will be added to this site. To date, well over 96,000 vaccines have been, have been administered in the state. Iowa is currently performing amongst the highest in the nation for vaccine administration. Nationwide, vaccine administration can be found on the CDC website under the CDC COVID data tracker. So now is the time of year people like to travel to warmer climates for a winter getaway. Whether it's for a few days or several months, make sure you check the travel section on the CDC website. Some countries and areas within the U.S. are requiring proof of a negative COVID test prior to arrival especially at airports. This requires some real planning before you even make your airline reservation or leave for your destination. Often the requirements are for a negative test within the past 48 hours. This will require you to research where and when you can get a rapid COVID-19 test or if the time frame for the negative test would allow you to get a test Iowa test. Neither hospitals nor doctor's office will do rapid tests just for the sole reason of travel. These are reserved for symptomatic people or for those being admitted to the hospital. 
The city and county health departments have lists of testing resources on our websites, and you may also want to check local pharmacies to see if they are providing the test that meets your travel time frame. Like so many things in this pandemic, travel requires a lot of planning ahead of time. And as we close today, that because of the ever-changing situation, we all have to keep doing what we've been doing since last spring, wearing masks, hand washing, limiting our distance from others, and just generally not swapping air. We're most likely to have changes in our strategies, including statewide changes and restrictions that the governor will proclaim as we navigate through the pandemic. In the meantime, do your part to stay safe and healthy and help others to do the same because we're all in this together.